guys, Jamar500 here with you once again. Today I'm going to be playing Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System on Wii Virtual Console. Before we get started, Mario B. Alright, before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to Blue Hedgehog Man 17, Craig S 1996 Television, that's Craig Simmons, Matthew V, also known as Matthew V21688, and Breezy Off Station 87, that's Aubrey Scott. I'm giving a special shout out to the four of you because you four have played this game too. Let's get started with Yoshi's Island 1. Get the mushroom here. Now, ouch. I got hit already. Okay, here. Alright. Now, this... Th I'm gonna pause it here. This thing that I touched is known as a checkpoint for, for when you lose a life, you'll, get, you'll start right back from where you last saved and touched this... Alright, let's go. Okay. Now, Blue Hedgehog Man 17 watched Matthew V21688's run. I'm gonna see if I can remember Matthew's trick. Two, three, four, five, six! No, I didn't do it. Tried to. I tried to do his trick, but I couldn't quite do it. But I think there, there are some masters out there who did that trick too. I'm sure there are. But never mind. Watch out for the Rexes here. The Banzai Bill. Be careful here with the charging chuck. 29. Alright, the yellow switch palace. Hit the P-switch. Grab as many coins as you can before the P-switch runs out. Save and continue, let's go. Now that the yellow switch has been active, all yellow blocks appear in every level. Yoshi's Island 2, here we go. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Koopa trapped me in that egg. Oh 
Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well, yes it did. Okay, never mind. Come back here. Come back here. Thank you. Oh, not again. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what the sign here says. This gate marks the middle of this area. By cutting the tape here, you can continue from close to this point. It's also known as a checkpoint, by the way. Alright. Uh, no. Get on Yoshi, let's go. Okay. Five, you collect five dragon coins, you get an extra life. Watch out for Monty Mole here. Watch out for Monty Mole, thank you. Now, on those bushes are those things called fruits. Extra life right there. If you can get the Yoshi to eat enough fruits, a mushroom will appear. This game was also released for the Game Boy Advance, but it wasn't quite as good as the original. I'll explain that in a moment. 40. And that will make 69. Yeah. Oh. Alright, Yoshi's Island 3. Here we go. Alright, now, as I was saying, this game was released for the Game Boy Advance, but it wasn't quite as good as this one being the original. There were a few good things about it, though. One thing is that... You can collect lives non non-stop the number of lives you max out on in the original here is 99 but you can collect as much as about 1000 lives in the Game Boy Advance version now there's another change that was made in the Game Boy Advance version, but I'll explain it much later on in this full run. Yes, I'm doing a full run. I'm going to try to go through all 96 exits in the game without fail. Oh, I didn't get en enough coins. If you get a certain amount of coins here, th an extra life would pop up from this block here. Oh, I lost them. Oh, and I missed the, the tape right there. Alright. Alright, we are now in Yoshi's Island 4, but I will not get started. I'm going to get another Yoshi, because I'm not going to do Yoshi's Island 4 without getting another Yoshi first. So let's go back. Start and... Now, what I just did is I pressed start on my controller and I pressed select to go back to exit the area that, that I, already, I already cleared. However, 
If you do that in two player mode, you're playing. Two of you are playing as Mario and Luigi. And you do that. It uses up your turn, and your and your partner gets to go. So be be careful of that when playing two players. These guys are pokies. They cannot be defeated. Only Yoshi's can eat them up. The only way to actually defeat them is by a star. A star invincibility. Like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. Twenty four. And that will make ninety three. Yeah. And now it's time for Iggy's Castle. Those spiky enemies that appeared in Yoshi's Island 4, they cannot be defeated either. Only Yoshi can swallow them up or a star can stop them. Just like the Pokey. So be aware of that. Some enemies cannot be defeated unless either unless it's either by a star or you have a Yoshi that can swallow them up. Extra lives. One. Whoa, that was close. Two. Three. Four with this one. I'm up to 27 already. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. I didn't read that sign there, but that's alright. Careful. Watch out for these wooden things. They, they shake the ground and try to stomp you flat. Be careful. Okay, go through the big doors. And here is Iggy Koopa. Iggy is defeated. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together they now travel to Donut Land. And that's where we're, we're heading now. Save and continue. 32 lives at the moment as I completed that first world. I've collected 27 lives since the 5 that I started with for the game. Careful. Okay. These guys are called Super Koopas, and this is a Volcano Lotus. Those are Flying Paratroopas. That Super Koopa with a flashing cape 
has a feather has a feather popping out when you jump on it. Let's fly. Good job. Charging sharks can be defeated multiple ways. Okay. I have to go back. There we go. Extra life right there. I have Yoshi already, so if another Yoshi egg pops out, it becomes an extra life. Some of these Super Koopas are yellow and others are red. They have yellow and red capes. Some have yellow capes, some have red. Okay, I'm gonna fly up here. Ouch. I'm not going to take the normal exit. I'm going to go up here for the secret exit. There's a key here. Either grab the key yourself, or have Yoshi hold on to it, and place it in the keyhole. Alright. Let's go back to Donut Plains 1. Now... In this game, you're going to find some red dot areas. The red dot areas mean that they have two exits. Oops. Ouch. Come back here. Thank you. I'm not worried about the checkpoint right now. Take that. Let's see. Alright, I stated that charging chucks can be defeated multiple ways. You can use the feather on him once, the cape on him once. The feather is a cape, mind you. It takes a few... 93... 7. That's just what I needed. And that will make 100. Yeah. Oh, what? Pardon the noise, guys. Two lives. When you get 100 bonus stars, you get to play a mini bonus game. As we had the Donut Plains 2. In the mini bonus game, you get the chance to win up to 8 lives. If at least one of the eight panels does not pa ma uh, match the very panel in the middle, you don't get eight lives. But you can still get a chance to win up to six if you're if you're lucky enough. Five or even six if you're lucky enough. Watch out for the swoopers and the buzzy beetles in this level. You 
can jump. Use a fire flower. I'm going up here. You can jump, use a fire flower. Or have a Yoshi swallow a swooper up. Try again. As for the Buzzy Beetle, they cannot be defeated. The only way to defeat a Buzzy Beetle is by... Let's see. You can either crush them with the spin jump or have a Yoshi swallow him up, or a star. Any one of those three ways are the only ways possible. All right, the green switch palace, here we go. Go back. Yes, good job. Okay, so that's the, this is the green switch palace. Now, right, right below here is a bottomless pit, so if you go down there you're gonna die, so be careful. Alright, that takes care of that, we're done with the green switch palace. Back to Donut Plains 2, where we take the normal exit now. We took the secret exit to get to the Green Switch Palace, so now we have to take the normal exit. If a Yoshi defeats an enemy, it counts as defeating them with spin jump. Mind you, some enemies cannot be defeated with spin jump or anything. That's how you defeat a super with a feather, with a cape. Personally, I prefer take that. I prefer the feather item for, for Cape Mario than the fire flower item for Fire Mario. That's my personal opinion. Oh no, I lost the Yoshi. Great. That's a feather. I don't need it. Okay. The last uh, dragon coin for another life is just ahead. In we go. 26. Alright, we're done with Donut Plains 2. Let's go to the ghost house. Actually, no. Let's go to Donut Secret 1. That's where I'm going. 
I'm going to Donut Secret 1. This is the first underwater level of the game. Watch out for many fish. Now, personally, there's there's two enemies I hate in this in this game, and this goes for every water level. One of them is the Rip Van Fish. They're the fish that have Z's in them, and when you get when you get close, they try to chase after you. So be careful. If they touch you, you're gonna. You're gonna lose your item, and if you don't have an item and they touch you, you're gonna, what you're gonna lose instead is a life. So be careful. Extra life. I'm up to 40 already. I'm doing great. It's still early in, in the game. Two more dragon coins. One more with this one. Careful with these cheap cheeps. These cheap cheeps don't have a name. These cheap cheeps don't actually have a name. These guys are called blurps. They just they just swim straight forward. Oh, okay, I got that blurb. Ooh, that was, uh, I believe, a double right there. Alright, I got rid of them. Let's see if I can do it. And 29. And that will make 55. Yeah. the normal exit to the Donut Ghost House. Now, I'm gonna take the secret exit. I had actually passed it, but I'm gonna show you guys now. I didn't even realize I actually picked up two more lives. Well, yeah, because, let me see. I got two for the dragon coins, having collected six. And I guess I got one more for 100 coins. Oh, I got hit by the cheap cheap. Okay, get the P-switch. Careful with the blurp and the... Van Fish, thank you very much. Hit the P switch over here. This key fits the keyhole here. We passed up the keyhole. That's what I did. I passed it up. The secret exit takes us to the Donut Secret Ghost House, which I will go there now. Oh, sorry. I wanted to show you guys the open door. The entrance sequence of of the ghost house. Okay, I wasn't meant to grab that trampoline. Careful with these. Alright, these are called the Boo Buddies. And this is a circle of them, almost. So be careful. Okay. Grab the P switch. Okay, go up here. Alright, hit the switch. Go through this door. And here you've got a mini boss battle with a big boo. Look carefully where he's going and... Grab these blue blocks to take your aim at him. Watch out for these two boo buddies that will try to stop you, though.
Save and continue. It takes us to the Star Road, but we are not going there yet. It's going to be much too early for me to go there right now. I will go there much, much later in the game. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. See that ghost you saw down there? This ghost right here is called an Eerie. He just moves forward like the underwater blurps. Okay, that was the first big boo, by the way, and the, the boss was the second one. Even though the, the boss big boo appeared different, he was blue. These ghosts are white. So now you've seen them all. You've seen all ghosts except one, but that one ghost appears much later in the game. Go through here. And 26 again. And that will make 81. Yeah. Oh, what? And we are done with the Donut Secret Ghost House. This takes us to the warp pipe, which leads us to Donut Secret 2. And as you can clearly see, this is the Valley of Koopa. This is one of the worlds that we will travel much, much later in the game. As you saw, there was a castle. It's castle number 7 of the entire game. I almost missed that fire flower. You also saw a ghost house and even a fortress. Anyway, we're in Donut Secret 2. I lost the feather, but I got the fire flower. Careful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Too bad. I was hoping to... go fast enough and possibly... See, because if I was fast enough, I would have activated the star over here. It would have been another star, and I would have gotten a few more lives. That didn't work. But I got a life right there, so I'm still good. Seventeen. And that will make 98. Yeah. Oh, what? Two more and it's bonus game time. Donut Secret 2 is complete. The pipe takes us to Donut Plains 3, but I will not go there yet. Now I will go to the ghost house. But not before I um, get another feather. Here's the situation. There's two X's in this ghost house too. First, I'm going this way. You need the feather to fly up here because this is the secret exit. Keep going and here you're gonna find one, two, three, I got hit. Got it. Four. Four lives. Alright, let's see if I can get exactly two for 100. I got three. So that's 101. 101. But technically it's one. When you get 100, the number actually goes back, that goes back to zero. So keep that in mind. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there we go. Three lives, all right. One, two, and three. Good job. The top secret area. Now, this is a good spot to equip yourself with items. 
whether it be the fire flower or feathers to get the cake. And you also find the Yoshi here. Now, if you don't have, if you're little Mario and you come here, any one of those items is first the mushroom. Once you get the mushroom, then the other block will still contain the feather or flyer, fire flower, depending on which side you choose. All right. Ghost house again, here we go. I'm taking the normal exit now. I'm gonna see if I can fly, ooh. I was trying to say, I was hoping to see if I could fly up there without getting caught. But apparently I did get caught, so it didn't work. Ooh, that was close. All right, let's see if I can fly up here, ooh. I'm gonna have to be careful now. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! It's a lot faster if you fly up there. 25. That's 26. I'm not even going to sing. Alright. Save and continue. Donut Plains 3. Here we go. As you can see, the green blocks contain feathers for you to transform into Cape Mario. Alright. Ooh, that was close. Now, those guys cannot be defeated, and these enemies return in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Okay, going here. Oh, never mind. Actually, I'm, I'm not even going to think about it anyway. Extra life for another five dragon coins. And another one for the block. Now, when I say that these guys cannot be defeated, they cannot be defeated. Period. 40, all right. And that will make 66, yeah. This is the amazing flying hammer, brother. Be careful. He shoots hammers the same way a normal hammer brother would. Yes, good job. I'm going in here. That's the amazing... Flying, uh, piranha plant. Be careful with that. All right. Oh, good thing I got it in time. Now those Hammer Brothers can be defeated in any way. Feather, Star, or Fire Flower. 
They cannot be defeated by um, Yoshi, however. You can't. Ouch. You can't swallow them up with Yoshi. These guys are Goombas in para Goombas. Is there in a Goomba parachute? Careful, you missed. Oh, okay, time's running out. Just go. 23. And that will make 89. Yeah. Castle number two, Morton's Castle, and I'm going to stop here. Alright, I just showed you the entrance sequence of the, of the castle. Okay, and voila. This is very hidden, because this is a hidden pipe. A hidden warp pipe. You need the feather for the pipe to enter the pipe and play this mini bonus game. No. No. You have to get all three right each time in a specific order. And you have to you get a, a Ah, you get a chance up to at up to five lives to do it. No, I got I did not get lucky at all. If you guess wrong, within the first two attempts, the first two attempts of the order, that is, of the, of the specific order, not attempts of getting the lives, but within the first two attempts of the correct order, that was close, then you do not get that life and you try again I was not I was not lucky at all now because I took the warp pipe the hidden warp pipe I actually skipped a, a room in the ca in this castle. Now I activated that because there's a life here, a secret life. Good job. Okay. I'm at 59. I'm doing great. Whoa, that was close. Here's Morton. This is him. All right. And with that, I'm about to stop this video. Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the underground Vanilla Dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become a Princess Toadstool? Peach? We're gonna find that out next time around. Oh, by the way, I never got to read the first sign, which was... The fact that, Pri that Peach is missing and Koopa has kidnapped her. Sorry, I I completely forgot to read that very first sign, but you guys saw what it was. It was before I even got started with Yoshi's Island 1, but anyway. 
Alright, well that's it. Let's go. Alright, we are in Manila Dome. I am going to save and continue. And with that, this is Jamar500 saying see you next time for more of Super Mario World.